I think it's finally time to do it and do something I've not done in all my years of running. So yeah, let's register for a road marathon. Yeah, I'm a trail and ultra runner, uh, but you know, I do a lot of my running on the road. A lot of my training is done on the roads out here, uh, just all around. I enjoy running on the road, but I definitely prefer racing on the trails. With that said, with this training plan that I'm doing right now with vert.run, it's a, a road marathon training plan for trail runners. And yeah, um, you know, I figure if I'm gonna do this plan over the winter, try to get some speed, stay off the trails, save my ankles hopefully, Shout out to Dan, the ultra dad. He rolled his ankle. Hopefully he's doing okay there, healing up. But yeah, if I'm gonna do this training plan, I figure what better time to actually do a road marathon and you know, see what I can do in a marathon. It'd be fun. So I've done them in training. I've gone, I've run much further than that many times, uh, lots of times, but I've never raced a marathon. So I figure why not? So I started my looking, searching for a marathon. Uh, when I think of a marathon, you know, I really want that like, big city marathon race experience. Uh, if I'm gonna do a marathon, I want it to be, you know, get that full, the full thing. So uh, I've found several marathons that, I, that were kind of somewhat near where I am looking through. So we're gonna kind of look over those, figure out which one to register for, and then we're gonna pick one and register for it. So yeah, let's do that. So in the area that I live, there are a lot of, a lot of different marathons. Some of them are trail, some are road, but one of the big ones in the area or more popular, I wouldn't say big, it's not a lot of runners, but a bigger race uh, is the Cummins Falls Marathon. They actually do a half marathon, 10K and a 5K. It's at the end of February. So this is a road, it's technically classified as a road marathon, uh, but a lot of it is on like gravel, crushed gravel. There's even a, a, a creek crossing on a makeshift kayak bridge. Um, let me, I don't know if I can find a picture of it, but it's, it's crazy because they actually have kayaks together with like plywood over top of it and you go across it. Uh, but it's not what you would think of as in a marathon. There's a good bit of elevation gain and it's not that big. So I'm kind of going to throw that one out of the mix. Uh, at some point I would like to do this one just cause it'd be a really neat experience. It's a cool race, but for my first marathon, I'll, I'll pass on that. Before I go on to the next race though, if you wouldn't mind doing me a favor and giving the video a thumbs up, click that like button down there. It does help out a lot. It lets YouTube know that you like the video and it will, they'll recommend it to other people and help the channel. Next, I came to the Chattanooga Erlanger Marathon. This is down in Chattanooga, which is, you know, two hours away, so not too far. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a big marathon. You know, there's a lot of people that do this. It's a Boston qualifier. But when I think of a marathon that I want to do for my first experience, uh, this course doesn't quite meet that criteria for me personally. This, if you look here at the map, uh, it's basically, uh, it's a half marathon route that they run twice. So there's a couple of sections that are different, but by and large, I mean, it is a, you know, you start here and go around and do this little thing here and go around and basically you do it again. I don't really want to do a marathon doing two half marathons and just, you know, repeating the course. That's just me personally for right now. I want to do a, hopefully a point to point, maybe an out and back here and there. Uh, but this is a race that if you like marathons, this is a, a well-run event. I've always heard great things about this race. Uh, it's not too expensive, 85 bucks for the first 250 registrants. I think the elevation gain, it says here, is about 1,200 feet. So, you know, not terrible. Definitely more than a, uh, a PR course. You think of those PR marathon courses out there that the elites are doing, and they're generally 250 feet of elevation gain or less. So uh, to them, this would be a monstrous amount of elevation gain, but... Uh, it's really not that bad. But for my purposes, I'm going to throw this one out too for now. Uh, this one is perfect time frame, March 4th through 6th. But yeah, I'm just going to, not not right now. Next, locally, we got the Pistol uh, Ultra Run, which does a lot of different uh, races all the way up, I think from like, what, 10? Is it 10K? Half marathon up to 100 miler. And they even do a double where you can do like the 100 and the 50 to actually do 150 miles. It's just a timed event. Uh, and it's on like a 10 mile loop, 10-ish mile loop. Really pretty area. I know the race director. I volunteered with this race before. It's a fantastic event. My wife ran the 10 mile race a couple years back. Just an awesome event. But again, it's a loop, 10 mile loop. I don't really want to do that personally right now. Uh, at some point, I'm definitely going to run this race. It's a, it's a really cool, a big, you know, local race in this area. But for what I'm wanting right now, uh, you know, this one, I'll, I'll toss this one out too. And then the uh, next option is the Land Between the Lakes trail runs. Uh, so thinking, you know, marathon, I want to do road, but this is, you know, another one that I wouldn't say is iconic, but it's when you think of Southeast, 
marathons. Uh, this one comes up, the Land Between the Lakes. It's a, it's a big event. Uh, you know, maybe 800 to 1,000 people, so it's not huge, but it's it's good size. But it is trail. You know, the first, what, almost three miles, and or the first, like, two-ish miles, and the last two-ish miles are on pavement. Uh, but it's basically a loop. You run 11 miles uh, twice uh, with that out and back then. So uh, it's a really cool event, run really well. I always hear fantastic things about it. Uh, it is usually in a muddy, rainy, wet season, um, but it's perfect time. Saturday, March 12th, that would be right in line of where my training plan would end, uh, so it would, be, it would fit perfectly, and it's not expensive at all. I mean, the marathon is $69. The 50-miler, which I would like to do that at some point, is $85. Bucks. Uh, so it's, you know, this is another one where I found a, a review on this of the marathon, and I think for that, it was like 3,800 feet of elevation gain, which, you know, for a trail run, that's not that bad, but when you're trying to run a faster marathon, definitely not what you want. So for now, I'm also gonna throw this one out and we'll move on. And then that brought me back to Knoxville, Tennessee for the Covenant Health Knoxville Marathon. This one is a little bit later than what I would like. Uh, I think it was March 27th. Yeah, March 27th. So I'll, I would need to add like probably two weeks to my training plan maybe just redo a couple of weeks uh, in there just to get to that, that right time. But this course uh, is awesome. Let me pull up the map. Uh, I mean, it fits exactly what I want. It is a point to point, essentially, route. I mean, you can see we start here and run all along these roads here. You know, you're never really repeating the same area twice, maybe here and here, but uh, you know, it's not a loop. You do, you do one route and that's it. And that's, that's awesome, and this is a big race too. This is a this is a Boston qualifier. Uh, it's a very popular event. Uh, I don't know numbers how many people, but it's in the thousands as far as how many people actually run this race. So it's very popular. So looking at this race, the course record for the marathon is 2:22:15 by Wojciech Kopek. Totally butchering that. And then the women's is Irina Bogacheva. Uh, 241, so 222, that's a fast time, but again, this is not a course that's a flat PR course. I mean, this still has about, I think, I want to say roughly 1,200 feet of elevation gain as well, because, I mean, it's, it's East Tennessee. There's there's some rolling hills, so you're going to get some elevation. Uh, but yeah, it's still a pretty fast course, and uh, it's just a really, really well-run event. Uh, I've always heard just fantastic things about this race. It's it's a big event where people come from all over the country to do to do this race. If we look at the course profile, we can see the elevation. Uh, I mean, you can see right here at the start, we've got you know a hill where you go right up the right up you know uh, what is that? It's not even a hundred feet, but you know it's a hill. But then you've got through mile three and a half downhill to flattish, then a couple of hills, another flat section, another good climb. Uh, and then right around a mile, you know, 11.1, 11.2, you've got a good bit of hills that come into play. So that's going to be a tough, that's going to be a tough latter half of the marathon for sure. Uh, but then, you know, towards the end, it kind of levels out just a little bit. But then at the finish, you've got a hill. So that's going to, that's going to suck. I'm sure I'll be, I'll be hating that at that point. But by and large, it's not that bad. And, you know, when I come from the trail world where I'm used to doing, let's say a 50K with 5,000, 6,000 feet of elevation gain, this shouldn't be too bad, but I am running this a lot faster, hopefully. So we'll see. Okay, well, we'll get registered here. We got $85 plus a $565 sign up fee. Nope, don't need to add another registrant. Waiver. Knoxville Track Club puts this on too. KTC, they are just a fantastic track club out of Knoxville. I mean, they put on a lot of races, well run races. It has some super fast guys. So, I mean, they, they know what they're doing. Continue. No team school, yep. T-shirt option, yeah. Let's go men's large. Estimated finish time, you gotta estimate a finish? I have no idea. Compute from pace. Well, let's say if I, if I can manage to do like an 815, what would that be? That'd be a 336. Sure, why not? Let's say that. No idea. <laughs> I would hope I could do maybe a little faster than that, but Let's do it. So that's pretty neat. If you sign up for this, you can actually uh, purchase like a training program, an 18 week uh, starting program. That's pretty neat. Oh, nice, a CHKM technical trucker hat. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Run Knox Vegas, Tennessee. That's pretty awesome right there. All right, so here we have the marathon registered. 
Marathon, Sunday, March 27th. Men's large, 90 bucks. Yeah, got to pay now. All right, well, there it is. Congratulations. You are registered for the Covenant Health Knoxville Marathon. Cool. I'm excited to do a road marathon. Uh, you know, it'll be totally something I've not done before. I don't think I've ever run further than, I want to say like 22, maybe 23 miles on the road. And some of that was even gravel. So like a true straight road the entire way, probably no more than 20 miles. So it'll be cool. It'll be fun. We'll see how the training goes. You can follow along with the vert plan. Uh, you know, I've got speed work coming up in a few weeks once I get through this buildup phase. Down below in the description is the link to go download the vert.run app. It's completely free to download the app. They've got training plans that are completely free. So do check that out because it's a fantastic resource for trail and ultra runners and even uh, apparently trail runners that want to do road. So yeah, you know, check it out. Okay, that's it. I am officially registered. Now I gotta get this back healthy and have a good training block, get to this uh, speed work stuff I've got in a few weeks, you know, get the marathon specific uh, long runs in there. Uh, really looking forward to training. So please follow along on the journey. Uh, if you're new training for a marathon, maybe your first one as well, you know, click subscribe. You'll see future videos like this too. And you can, you know, comment down below. Let me know how your training's going. Hopefully, uh, you know, if you're out there running the Covenant Health Marathon, also let me know below. Uh, you know, if you're running it coming up next year, it'd be really cool to meet up and uh, see you, you know? So yeah, let me know. But that's going to do it. So thank you for watching. So yeah, if you want to take a look at the last race I did, the Golden Gate Trail Classic 50K, the video is going to be right on this side of your screen. Please check it out. It's a beautiful course, just fantastic scenery. And then over here, we'll put a playlist up of some running tips and injury prevention. So I need to make sure and stay on that. But yeah, so thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. And I'll see you on the next one.